Alright, hey guys, so I am getting ready to head home now. I just finished up with um, doing a little shopping at Michael's and I got off of work early today, like extremely early. Today, um, today we had to come in at 6 a.m do my usual job but uh there wasn't a whole lot for us to do um which they they figured it would go pretty quickly for us but we ended up getting to leave an hour earlier than we were kind of anticipated being here so it was a really short shift so i decided since i'm over here might as well come over to michael's and check out what's on sale because tomorrow is labor day and so i just got some beads on sale mainly like clearance beads but anywho i had a coupon for 50 percent off of a purchase like a regular priced item so that's i used that on some beads <coughs> my goodness wearing that mask is like driving me crazy like I was about to pass out in Michael's. Um, I don't even know how I make it through most of the days at work wearing that thing. It's torture. And now, like, I'm all sweaty and, well, it's hot outside anyway. But also, like, I don't have any lip balm or anything with me because while wearing the mask, I'm kind of like, what's the point? Like, I don't want it to be rubbing up on the mask because, ugh, ugh, I wouldn't be able to stand that. So, Anywho, <sighs> that is just the way things are, I guess. And I, I swear, every time I film, like when I'm driving home from this area, I'm always going this way and never the way that I normally go. Like, this is not my usual everyday route. It's just kind of like, if I'm at the other end of where I work, then I come out this way. And there's Woodlawn, which, I mean, I don't know. Anyway. Um, I think in my last driving video I was talking about Woodlawn because that's where a lot of country music artists are buried as well as some of my family. Um, yeah. So, great time. Not really. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I never know what to say really when I start recording. Like, I may be like, oh, I'll just start out saying this like talking about the start of my day but uh, at this point not really much has taken place other than just a short shift at work and going shopping at Michael's and even then like I was kind of disappointed with Michael's like I I don't know if there's like well okay so tomorrow's Labor Day so like everybody's doing Labor Day sales and whatnot but I figured like they would have more stuff on sale for better prices they did send out a coupon where you got like 50 percent off um through email like that's i and like i've this is my new phone by the way i'm filming on a new phone but because i have this new phone i haven't even like downloaded that michael's app that i normally use um because i can't remember my password <laughs> and probably not that difficult for me to figure out my password but the last time I tried like logging in like on my old phone it logged me out of my Michaels account and I couldn't remember the password so uh, I can not really do much with that <laughs> and so I need to figure out my password so I can get the app back on here and I, I don't well, it probably doesn't do me any good anyway because they send the coupons in the email most of the time and you can access the sales ad through the website, so whatever. Anywho, uh, yeah, but going back to the cell, I feel like there's a hair hanging off my lip and everybody decides that they want to turn in front of me. All right, so yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot on sale and I, I don't know if it's like this everywhere I'm, it probably is and it's probably improving right now but my Michaels doesn't have like a lot of stock like for instance the polymer clay suction it's pretty much scarce like I think they've had the same 
few blocks of clay that they've had for the past two or three months now. Um, and you know, a lot of times we'll sell like the variety, like the kits that have the variety colors of clay in it. And you know, I mean, they have one set by FIMO, but the color selection in the set is kind of weak. So, eh. Um, and also, the dye like i've been trying to get a few colors of brit dye and i can't find it anywhere like i talked about this in the hobby lobby stuff and like driving home from hobby lobby i remember that because i'm still looking for a brit dye without spending a stupid amount online for it because like it sells for like up to four dollars in the stores and i'm not paying sixteen dollars for a bottle that sells for four dollars like that's a four hundred percent So, anywho, I'll just wait. I'll just keep on waiting. I'll hold out if I have to, like, because, like I said, I ain't paying $14 for, no, $16. $16 for a bottle that normally sells for four. That's just stupid to me. <laughs> like, why? I could get all three colors plus an extra color for that price. Like, full price elsewhere whenever they have them in stock. I'm not that desperate. Stay. Like, okay. I hate it when cars, like, drive over their lines. Like, yo, stay in your lane, girl. Like, it's not that difficult. Okay, I just noticed something on my windshield and I hope it's a drop of water and not a crack because I have not noticed that before. Or it may actually be the reflection off of my phone. That's probably what it is. Let's just go with that because I'm going to be furious if I have another crack or scratch or something in my windshield. Like right after I got this car, like a, not even a whole month after I had the car, I was, had been in the grocery store, and when I came out of the grocery store, like, I didn't notice it until, like, I was driving out of the parking lot of the grocery store, and there's a big old nick in my windshield, and it looked like somebody shot, like, something at it, like, maybe a BB, like, a little BB pellet or whatever, I don't know, but it wasn't in there before going to the grocery store, because the way the light catches it, like, it's pretty obvious, <laughs> and... I just, I don't know what happened or somebody threw a rock at it. I don't know. But I had um, my insurance, like I put in a little claim thing for it on my insurance and they sent, was it Safe Light out to fix it? And like, I don't know, it seemed like Safe Light was advertising that it'd be like an invisible repair and whatnot. And they came out, the guy I worked on it, he's like, so it's not gonna actually make it go away but he's like it'll just prevent it from getting worse and he's like it may actually be worse than what it was to begin with but it'll prevent it from getting any worse than that so um for the most part eh, like i've noticed like after coming back from vegas it looks like it's gotten a little bit bigger so i don't know i don't know if it needs um, more attention or not <laughs> but I don't I don't know at this point I don't know I want to keep the car like I plan on hopefully getting the car paid off by the beginning of this upcoming year which will mean that I've paid it off about two years earlier than I'm supposed like had you know it was a five-year loan so that means that I'll have to pay it off in about three years. Maybe I may have to like drag it out a few more months, like into 2021, but I plan on getting it paid off and I had a four year warranty on it. So I'll have an extra, like if I keep it throughout the year of 2021, that'll like be my last year of warranty. So I kind of want to keep the car and like feel like I'm getting my money's worth out of the warranty I paid for because if I were to sell the car, trade like, you know, get another car and be done with this car, then I've lost out. 
on that warranty like not not that the warranty did any or has done any good like there is an issue i had after coming back from vegas that the warranty should have covered that's why i was sold the warranty and they're like oh because of the particular placement of like where the problem is it was like on the right side of the part instead of the left side of the part or something and because of that warranty denied it so that was <laughs> i know what dealership i'm not ever going to buy this car through again like the dealership i bought the car from is a different dealership than i take the car to have it maintained at because i trust the other dealership the one that i have it maintained at that's the one that my family's been going to with our cars since we started getting Cadillacs. So, anywho, that's the thing. Like, if I ever, well, I guess, okay. So, the next time I buy another car, I'm gonna go through the other dealership. Like, if the dealership, I don't know. Okay, so my car came from nashville bmw or bmw of nashville which i would never at this point i would never recommend doing business with them just because and i guess it's maybe just the typical car salesman tactics and whatnot but they were partnered with crest cadillac so they bmw of nashville like there's a location that was really close to me that had the cts in stock when i was like desperate for another car which I had to get another car because my Seville, my white 84 Seville had major brake problems and a whole fiasco, whole story makes me furious, but um, the brakes could go out at any given moment. Like it was so dangerous for like, they're like, you know, it's amazing that you've driven it as much as you have because somebody who worked on the brakes put in a metal line and every time I press the brakes, it bent the line. And so they're like, it's, it's just barely staying together. Like it could snap at any second. And they're like the, the cost of labor to redo it. In addition to the parts to redo, like the whole brake system would have had to be redone and revamped. So it was just kind of like a desperate time. So my dad was like, you know what? We need to make sure you have a reliable car. He's like, I'm tired of messing with all these old Cadillacs. Get you something newer. You know, we'll do what we have to so that you can be able to get something newer. So I had a CTS I wanted at BMW of Nashville, but um, it was a cash only car and I had to, I didn't have the cash for it. So what we did was they found another CTS and one that was a little bit newer that was at Crest Cadillac since they were partnered with Crest. So they're like, you qualify for it. This will be your monthly payments, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you want to, we'll go check it out right now. So or like, I mean, I wasn't too keen on it, but kind of desperate. And for the price, like I kind of did some quick research. And if I've gotten like something like a Honda or a Toyota and whatnot, like I still would have been paying about the same amount for that for another like type of vehicle it would have been a little bit newer than this car but I mean I wouldn't have been happy with it so lo and behold we go out there and after a long day I ended up going with this car so that's how I wound up with this car and that's what happened with the Seville was that the Seville had serious brake issues it had been like we'd I mean, it was in pretty good mechanical shape and we put in a little extra money to make sure it was like in tip-top mechanical shape. We had just spent quite a bit of money like on the muffler and everything right before too. But uh, yeah. And then I found out what really ticked me off was like the sales guy. I've talked to the sales guy. I've seen him a few times since the transaction. I had issues trying to get my tags for this car like they kept blaming Crest for it but I I have my suspicions of something else that has it's a whole other story veering off from this and since I'm almost home I'm definitely not going to go into that right now but I found out from him that they took my Seville and since it was right before Christmas they had a Christmas party 
or like the employees and they raffled it off or they claimed they raffled it off but then he told me the manager ended up with my Seville like they couldn't give me like hardly anything for the car like they pretty much got the car practically for free. well I guess they did get the car for free they gave me a tiny teeny tiny minuscule amount for it but we didn't have a way to tow it home and my dad's like I'm just tired of dealing with it let's just let it go be done so that's what we did I regret the decision but I already have so many cars around here anyway so I've got stuff on me from work so that's what happened to this bill okay so my hair after I've taken it down from a ponytail is something um, too key. So I'm back in the house. I just changed into my clothes, like my round the house bum clothes. You want to say hi, Tukey? Uh, hi, Boo Boo. Yes, I'm back home. So I need to fix me something to eat. I'm so thirsty too. Like that's why my throat is so scratchy because I'm I need some hydration. That's the bad thing about like this pandemic going on. Like they cut out, cut off water fountains at work. And I used to rely heavily upon the water fountains at work. And now like, I just, I mean, I can go and get a bottle of water and I guess keep it with me at work, but that's just, that's a lot of trouble. I'm trying to keep a bottle of water with me. And you don't want to like leave bottles of water around at work because that, uh, We've had in the past some crazy people who decide to just to help themselves to whatever, whenever. So, she wants attention. She wants attention. Y'all can see, like, we've had renovations done to this room. And, like, last year, that should have been done last year. And they are still not done. <laughs> um, life. Anywho, she is just loving this. She loves being on camera. She is just the camera hussy. I was nice. I said hussy. Because I don't use the other words. We don't use those bad words, do we? No. No. Okay, boop, boop. We no longer have a dining table, by the way. Because it, it's hers. She wants me to give her all the attention. You want attention so bad, don't you? You've got to be careful with your claws, though. You've got to be careful. Ow! She's like, no. Just, no. But come back. She's like, no. But come back. Ow, you've got sharp little claws, kitty. My little claws hurt. Thank you. She understands it. When she gets too rough, if you just get stern with her and use the word gentle or be gentle, she usually under she comprehends what that means a lot of times. And I guess that's just because of the tone of voice. But you understand. You know that you've got to do something about it. Thank you for being gentle with your claws right now. Like, you can say gentle and she'll, she'll still work her claws, but she won't work them as hard. So they are not as rough on the skin. Thank you, Boo Boo. Thank you. You've got crud in your eye. She will not let me rub the crud away from her eye. She does not like being touched anywhere on her nose. Except for right now, she let me do it. She let me do it. Thank you, Boo Boo. Thank you for letting me do that. It's a good little cucumb. Look like a little tucum. Little tucum. Boo 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 baby. Boo 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 baby. No. It's getting a little too comfortable with those claws. Thank you. Thank you, boo boo. Time to fix some num nums because I am starving. I am starving, boo boo. Boop, boop, baby. Okay. 
You know, this is my jam right here. So I like these frozen chicken tenders from Kroger. And I like pairing them or eating them with ranch dressing, which I have ranch dressing. And then on top of the ranch dressing, I have some cayenne pepper from Dollar Tree sprinkled. And then, like, I'll take my little chicken tender and mix it all up, which I'm not going to do that right now because, like, these things are greasy and I don't have anything to wipe my fingers on at the moment. Um, since I have to stop the video and I don't want to touch my camera or my phone with greasy fingers, but oh my gosh, this is so good. It's like, it's basically like having buffalo chicken dipped in ranch dressing. Like that's what it tastes like. That, that cayenne pepper adds that buffalo flavor to the chicken. So, oh my gosh, I love it so much. This is like my daily like meal right here. So I just eat whenever I get hungry and then like I eat all day long like this. Like I'll have three of these a day, like throughout the day. So this is my little, my little num num session right here. All right, I'm going to close out the video here. I've already ate my little chicken tinder for the day. Or for, not for the day, but for the time being. And there's a lot of noise going on around here. We have people mowing the grass. We have neighbors new neighbors across the street blaring their music airplanes flying over um but yeah so i think i'm just gonna wrap up the this little blog video here i guess this is blog i don't know anyway i hope y'all are doing well and well until next time bye